Hello, this is a big splodgy ringed belt of asteroids round a star, this one. I quite like the colours that it was uh, radiating out and the, the fact that the star is so bright it's obscuring uh, some of the rings. It's making them not really visible because of, of, of the light shining off the star. So it's, 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 it's made it almost, uh, it's sort of camouflaged it a bit. Uh, I've, got, I've got a cat on this. Someone wanted me to draw their cat and they wanted a kind of an elite background. Now I did have this planned and I made myself a little Photoshop up of this of this cat sort of sat with its paws draped over the star dangling off the ring of asteroids. But I just looked at it and I thought that doesn't look right. And so I thought I'm just going to put it floating in space because the cat's not around anymore. So it's floating in space, this cat, which would make it very large, which is weird because apparently this cat was very tiny. So big cat. Not a big cat, like a lion, but a big house cat. And it's it's floating ethereally in space. And it looks a bit sad about it. I'm not quite sure. It, it, the cat did look a bit sad, though. I don't I don't know much about cats. But yes, sort of, it's like the accusatory in a way I've got it here. In my picture, uh, it's not intended to be quite that Paddington in its glare. But you know, it's, it's probably quite hot by that star with all that fur. It could put its paw into the, the rotating asteroids that go around, around the, the star and send them all off into different directions. I can imagine a cat doing that. There's a little beacon just in front of the star. There was actually what looked like a beluga uh, flying towards you uh, through the asteroid field as well. But you can't see that because the cat's paw is in the way. So I didn't draw it. Uh, which... <laughs> might have been one of the key parts of the picture that the commander wanted me to have for their beluga but uh, it may not be a beluga to be fair i spent ages doing the stars on this one uh, because all of the stars had this blue sheen around them which i've noticed when i've been out towards colonia that all the stars have this globular kind of quality to them it's sort of almost like tapioca and uh, I kind of wanted to show this blue first and then and then put the white parts of the star on and then cluster them around the Milky Way line as well. I'm not sure it was that successful, but you know, it's done and it's fine.